Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we are going to set up the MS Core fonts within Solus. So these fonts are not available within the software center of Solus. However, it's an easy install and the Microsoft Core fonts come in handy if you're using particular Office documents sometimes for the formatting. I know that the Core fonts do very well within WPS Office, which is an Office suite that I use. And there are times, let's face it, the uh, core fonts just simply look good within your operating system. So let's go through that process now. Uh, there is a website that makes it extremely easy, and I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Kiran Kumar or Kiran Kumar is the author here and uh, steps us through the process, the very easy process of installing the fonts. Now this uh, website is FOSS Linux. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that so I'll put a link in the video notes below to uh, to this page so that you could get fonts set up within Solus. Alright so the first thing you're going to do is scroll down well let's back up a minute just in case you're not familiar with the Microsoft TrueType fonts uh, this pack includes the uh, famous Arial uh, which gives you bold italic bold italic and black as well as impact Times New Roman uh, veranda so some of the more popular fonts. So the process is very easy. We're going to go into the terminal here and we're simply going to copy and paste um, this line here. And I have done this already, but we're going to go ahead and go through the reinstall process. I wanted to make sure everything worked, of course, before I did a video showing you how to do it. So uh, once you have that line pasted into the terminal, you'll hit enter. Type in your password. And then while that process, well, it's continuing on there. So it's setting up the package. Uh, it says pay close attention to the installation progress in the terminal. You must enter yes when asked. So um, it, it's not going to ask me because I've already entered yes and it's already set up. So the following command that we're going to enter here sudo command is to get everything completed so we'll copy and paste that as well alright so uh, that is the process once you've got that complete now let's go over and set the fonts up within the settings so we're gonna go to the Raven panel we're going to go to the settings icon here in the Raven panel and you'll just go down about halfway here where you'll see fonts. So you've got four options for window titles, interface, documents, and monospace. Now I typically, it's just me, uh, you can do what you want here. I leave monospace as monospace regular. But under window titles, we'll click and you can do a quick search. Oops. And here we will see Arial Regular. So I'm going to choose actually Arial Bold for the uh, window titles. And then under Interface. And you should see this change take place pretty quickly. Uh, you'll notice it here in just a minute if you can see it on the video. We'll change that to, oh, not black. Let's just go to Arial Regular and you'll notice there things adjusted and moved here and you can see the change in the fonts. Now you could also adjust the slider here or uh, increase the size of the font while you're changing that. Alright, so we're just going to scroll up back to Arial Regular and there we have it. So now we've changed our window titles to Arial Bold, the interface to Arial Regular and the documents to Arial Regular as well and again I left Monospace Regular in place. So that's it. Um, I don't think you're going to need to reboot, but if you don't notice that the fonts have uh, taken place throughout the system, you could log out and log back in or do a reboot, and you should notice um, that things have taken effect as far as the fonts are concerned. Also, it'd be good to go in and take a look and make sure, since you've changed the font type, it may be that you need to change the font size in order to even things out uh, through the interface. All right, well, that's it for now. Hope that helps, and we will check you next time.